Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebelica and this is the 100 baby challenge and we're on to part 23. So in the last one uh, we had a baby named India who is a uh, part alien. So she's this lovely blue color <laughs> and she's already aged up to a toddler. So we currently have two toddlers um, and we actually only have one toddler bed at the moment. So um, we have Heather who is probably about halfway to getting all of her skills maxed out. And then we have um, India. And we have a chicken that is about to hatch, a little chick. So um, India's coming out here to dance some. Um, she's got a few skills. We've got like level one of everything and level three of thinking. So. She's the only one awake right now, so I'm just speeding this up so that, uh, oh, uh, it says a, a chick, a chick hatched. So let's see, we get her to do the what's that interaction here since nobody's awake to watch. Uh, we can't watch people while they're sleeping. And... Let's take a look at the chickens. We've got one egg ready to collect, one hen, one rooster, and one chick. And Quinn it still looks like she's pretty tired, although it, it, it just disappear. So we are getting some sleep. And we just have somebody randomly visiting us, Makoto Ogawa. Um, so don't know anything about him. And uh, it looks like Heather is quite hungry, actually. Do we have anything in here that's prepared? Just cake and cheese. Well, we've got one slice of cake, so we'll have her eat that. So I'm not sure if you're counting um, how many boys and girls we've had so far, but out of uh, nine, I believe we've had nine babies at this point, and we've only had two boys, Brendan and Elliot. <laughs> so I'm not sure why my game seems to favor girls so much over boys, but uh, that's, that's how it is in most of my save files. A lot of girls. <laughs> If this trend continues, if we need to get a, a new matriarch, that will not, not be a problem. We will have lots of girls to choose from. So hopefully, fingers crossed, when it gets to the point that we need to uh, to choose a new matriarch, there will be plenty of girls to choose from. So, so now that uh, India has gotten to know Makoto, uh, she's able to, to watch him. So I'm just going to queue some of those up here. Oh, and I also I am sending her to the mirror because uh, I want to change her style a little bit. So here we are. All right. So basically, wanted, what I wanted to do here was to um, to change her hat to something a little nicer for uh, hot weather. Um, change her. Uh, I don't know why she has had hats on ones where I didn't want her to have hats, and no hats on the winter one. So I'm just changing a few of her outfits here. Some of the stuff she was wearing just didn't look right with her with her skin tone. So just changing a few things and we're back. All right. So um, she's getting hungry. Um, we'll try watching him again. Too bad we can't ask him to make food for us. Oh, he's dancing. That's nice. We do have a piece of white cake. And he has reached level two of the movement skill. So she's gone to get a piece of cake. And that's the last of the cake. And when she's done, we have a bunch of uh, watch interactions queued up here. Assuming Makoto is still here. And it is prank day, um, which the toddlers don't care about prank day. So 
So it'll just be Quinn and uh, Gia, who those are the only ones who really would care about it. Okay, so our queue is full. We might be able to actually max this out. We'll see. Because we're almost at level 4. And our communication is almost at level 3, too, actually. Okay, so we put that plate in the sink. So... We don't have the option to watch anymore, so let's take that snuggle one out. Generating a water surplus. Thinking level four. So we are almost done. We've got uh, five of them up here in the queue, so that's good. And Quinn is awake. Let's have her look after herself first. So she is pregnant, so bladder is going to keep going down pretty quick, and same with the energy. But once she's done in the washroom, we can bake something. Brownies, it looks like. It's the only th option we have. And we need to clean the hot spring, too, because it's kind of a gross green color right now. Alright, and how's India doing? Oh, India needs some potty help, so, uh, so let's see, we're going to need Quinn to help her with that, so we may have to, oh, actually, we can ask Makoto to help, I forgot about that, because we are friends with him now, and Gia, when she wakes up, she can clean the coop and collect the eggs and feed them. Basically, she can look after the chickens. That's her chores for today. And I want to gather all the chickens into the coop so that we can lock the door and keep them out of the house. And hopefully I remember to do that, to do that this time. Okay. Oh, we reached baking level two, and we are nowhere near done making our brownies. So I think we already asked uh, Makoto one time to help us with our potty, and I don't think that really worked. So let's try again. It did not work. I guess we'll have to ask Quinn. So Quinn, instead of cleaning the hot spring, we can uh, potty train um, India here. And we got one egg out of the, the uh, chicken coop. So we'll put that egg right into the fridge. And I guess she picked up a brownie. <laughs> Ooh, we've got a dark purple one. So that's that's a uh, fear, terror. Well, terrified. I wonder what is she scared of? But let's get her project out here because we've already done her homework, and we can get a start on the project. I think it doesn't matter when you start it, as long as uh, when when you finish it. As a teenager, I think it will help the teenage uh, school grade. Because I don't know that we can do much more to help our, our uh, elementary school grade. Because it's already with the gold check mark right at the top. So, Okay, so when Quinn has done this, she's definitely going to have a, a brownie too. Because she's pretty hungry. And actually, we should probably wake up Heather. Heather is extremely hungry. So we'll grab a serving. And we still can't upgrade the vacuum cleaner. We need some more electronic upgrade parts, or uh, I guess we can't do anything with eco upgrade parts. It has to be electronic upgrade parts. But we can start a cleaning routine. And we got potty level two, so that's good. 
So Quinn, she can uh, eat her brownies, start the vacuum, and then clean the uh, the hot tub, the hot spring. And I'm just moving some of these dirty dishes into the sink. Now, India's starting to get pretty tired. She's still hungry, so we'll grab another brownie. Quinn's multitasking, I think. <laughs> She's taking her brownie with her to start the vacuum cleaner. Alright, how is Heather doing here? So communication's level 4, movement is level 4. Um... And then potty is at level two, so we still have to upgrade the potty a little bit. And uh, imagination is at level one, so that's going to take a bit too. All right, so let's try dancing a little bit and finish off our motor skill here. Quinn's dancing too. <laughs> I guess get her fun up? I don't know. Put the brownies away though. Maybe we can bake something else? Well, we have more options, but we're missing flour. And if it wasn't 11.20 night, I would probably go to uh, um, Henford on Bagley to buy it, but I, it's a little late. They're closed. I would love to get over there sometime. I just never quite make it. So I want to buy an avocado. We do have a bit of money this time. A lot of these we already have. So I'm just going to order a bunch of the... Uh, we don't need eggs. Um, but a bunch of the flour, sugar, milk. I think I, think I got about three of each. I don't want to spend all of our money. Okay, and Gia is getting a little bit uh, uncomfortable there. So our order should be coming soon. Gia's fun is actually going up while she's making that uh, uh, project there. It's a space one, so I think it's a rocket that she was building. All right, India has reached thinking level five. That's great. Now we can work on some of the other ones, and I'm pretty sure they do gain a little bit faster once you've got your thinking maxed out. So we'll try some of the different social things here with the the, um, the big cat. Oh, there's our groceries. Quinn can grab those. After she's done talking to Heather, I guess. Okay, Heather. Okay, Heather can go potty. Her bladder is starting to go down a bit. And we need to, fit to uh, max out that skill still. And then we'll send her to the tent to make believe, I think. And India has actually reached level four already of the communication skill, but she's very tired, so we're gonna send her to bed. And Heather. We're just waiting for her to finish on the potty. Okay, so our groceries have been delivered. They are on the counter. Should put those away. Uh, make sure we're set to somebody who can put them away. All right, Quinn is not really doing anything right now, so she can put them away. And I think we had a couple of fruit in there, so we should probably take a look at that. Let's, oh, we can uh, do a yard sale. So let's stock the table with some 
oh, the bonsai buds and a crystal. And prank day is going to end in like less than an hour. So I've stocked the table, I'm tending the table, and I forgot to start the yard sale. Since so yard sale's going now. Gia's responsibility is in the range earn the responsible trait. That's great. Oh, our fund did not go up very much. It seems to have gone back down actually. And how is Heather doing here? Prank day was awful because we forgot about it completely. Movement. We don't seem to be gaining any more movement skill from, from dancing, so let's move over to imagination. So we've got people coming up to the table. Oh, 116 simoleons. That's good. We just sold something that was worth 54. It's probably a rose. Ooh, we're making a bit of money here. And Heather has reached imagination level two. So we've actually made like 500 simoleons, I think, right now. So that's good. We're up at 807. The yard sale's done. And Quinn is very hungry, very tired, and has to use the washroom. So let's go and do that. So now we have some flour. Let's bake. We're going to bake a pie, I think. Or maybe just... Maybe just some bread. I, I'm not sure which I'm going to pick here. Just bread. Well, the thing is, too, is when we have bread and we have cheese, we'll be able to make uh, grilled cheese then. Actually, grilled cheese aspiration might not be a bad idea. Because once you've got that maxed out, I think you can conjure a serving or a... Is it a serving or a platter of grilled cheese? But either way, that's a very handy thing to be able to do. Everyone's getting angry. So we've got Gia going to use the washroom. Oh, she's hungry too. They're both hungry. Quinn, oh. Completely forgot to stop tending the table. I keep forgetting that that's an open-ended uh, action, that it'll just keep doing it until your, like, your needs fail. And now... India's up as well. So we'll make our bread here. And where is Heather heading? I kind of think Heather's going to just walk to bed. Or not. Maybe she's talking to uh, India. They seem to be both be in the bathroom right now. All right, and Gia has found some toys, the robot that talks to her. Thank you for pressing my button. <laughs> okay, Quinn just left her, her meal that she was making in a bowl on the counter. I mean, that's how you cook. That's how you cook. Oh, it's bagels that I'm making. You might leave the dough to rise in real life, but that's not how The Sims works. Level 5 communication for India. Good job. And she's moderately hungry. So, let's try go let's try sitting on the potty.
it's interesting with two toddlers because they can interact with each other and uh, sometimes that helps raise skills a little bit faster or gives another option for how to raise skills. Okay, Quinn, you need to go sit on the toilet like now, like yesterday. <laughs> go do that. Heather's really hungry and India's getting hungry. But dancing doesn't seem to be helping with her movement skills. So maybe she'll play with some blocks. Build a tower. Actually, her movement is up at five already. So that doesn't really even matter. What she needs to do is play in the tent. And hopefully Quinn can get some food cooked really quick. Oh, school starts in an hour. Baking level four. All right, so we've got some bagels. So let's grab some of these. Um, Quinn can grab one. And Heather can grab one. And India can grab one. There we go, India. Hurry up back and grab a bagel. I'm really surprised they can grab things from the back of the counter. I never imagined that they could do that. I mean, if it was a, uh, um, what do you call it? Like, not a countertop, but, like, where you could sit at it. <laughs> I can't think of what they're called. Sometimes words just leave my mind, and I can't remember what they are. All right, so. Um, Gia needs to go to school. I am fairly certain that once she gets to school, she's guaranteed to raise her grade. But she still has to get there. It's 8, 8, 8, 11, so that's not too bad. Bye. See you later. Better come home with an A. And Quinn needs to fix the tap, but that may just have to wait. Okay, Heather's getting tired, so we're just going to send her to sleep. And India is really tired. We need to put our bed back in here. Oh, and we have a few things we can sell. I'll put one of those uh, romantic buckets over by the, uh, um, the hot spring. We've got our diplomas on the wall. So now they both can sleep. I guess technically I could have removed the bottom bunks, the bottom beds out of the bunk beds and put the, the toddler beds in there. But I imagine Heather is going to be aging up fairly soon. And so this is really just temporary. I don't know when we're going to need two toddler beds again. At least it's not three. That was a little rough with with triplets. So if you don't remember, or if you weren't watching, our first pregnancy was a singleton, and then we had triplets, and then we had twins. <laughs> so it was pretty full for a little bit. And the twins only just moved out, so... That's why we have so few people in the house right now is because uh, the triplets and the twins all kind of aged up within the span of three days. So they're all gone. And the next oldest was only just a t uh, just just turned into a child when that happened. So. Um. 
Okay, Heather, how are you doing here? You're tired? You can head to bed then. So it's still showing Quinn aging up today, but she's pregnant, so she can't actually age up right now. I wonder how long I can keep her from aging up <laughs> by keeping her pregnant. <laughs> All right, so everyone's sleeping. So kind of speed through this. And there's chickens in the house. Keep forgetting to lock the door for the chickens. Okay, great A! Yay! So we can age her up. Um, probably after she has a nap. Came home with a school project. And Quinn, how are we doing here? Got the plain bagels. So we can go eat a bagel. Actually, her energy is almost full. She got a good day's sleep there. And we should repair that sink. It's wasting a lot of water, actually. <laughs> Oh, her phone was ringing, but I missed it. And there's Cameron. That is one of the triplets, actually. There, we'll repair the sink. Should not take long. I mean, I think we're at level, level 10 handiness. <laughs> It really shouldn't take too long. Okay, we got everything moved into the sink. The dirty dishes from there. There's still dirty dishes on the table at the front. Maybe one of the Sims can go and look after that. So we need to cook something that's not just bagels. I can hear the little chick squeaking. Okay, so we can upgrade the fridge. So we can either upgrade it to break less often or have better meals. And I'm just taking a look to see with the oven if we can upgrade that as well. So we've got coated exterior and self-cleaning. Not really a whole lot of options there right now. I think we've actually done most of the upgrades we can on that one. So we are we are storing a little tiny bit of energy, but hardly anything. So I'm going to come up here on the roof and add a couple more wind turbines. Not sure why it sinks it through the roof. So we could just afford the one for now. Can't really afford anything else right now. That used up all our money. So rate of change is now 5.42 for the electricity. That's way better than it was. Okay, let's send some more of these dishes to the sink. I think everyone's awake now. Whether they want to be or not, because I've got a sad one there and an angry one. All right, Heather is very hungry. But I've got bagels. So she can grab a bagel. India might as well grab one too. Oh, she's sad because she's hungry, so... Definitely need to grab one. And 
And I'm really curious to see with the growing together, not growing together, the infants update, um, which had not come out yet when this was recorded. I'm really interested to see if the uh, trying new foods is affected by the simple living lot trait that I have on this lot. I don't know if that will affect it or not. Okay, so India, instead of eating, is playing with the cupboards. Let's, let's just stop that and grab something to eat. Grab a serving. And I put those cushions there specifically for the toddlers, and instead, our company is sitting on the cushions. <laughs> well, maybe I need to change that. Put a whole pile of, of uh, cushions around where the countertop is. Another thing I could do, if I have enough money, is the um, there's the open fridge from Get to Work, which um, I think you have to find it out of Debug. Um, but that actually works too, because you can put the, the food for the toddlers in there, and then they can grab it themselves. I don't know. I think it's almost cheaty, <laughs> but it's in the game. There's nothing in the rules that says you can't use that fridge. And let's see if we can get Quinn to look. Oh, we have a lot of dead plants. <laughs> Our jalapeno plant's dead. Uh, that's a CC plant. Um, what else? Our plantain tree is dead. Our daisy is dead. So I'll get her to water everything, and then we'll try diving for deals. I'd like to hire a gardener, because when you hire a gardener, they can revive the dead plants somehow. I mean, I don't think they uh, evolve anymore after that, but I'm not really caring about the evolution of the plants. I basically just want to have food. <laughs> Okay, so now she's spraying for bugs. And what is Gia doing here? Okay, so we've got our project. You can put that in your inventory and actually sell it. And we've got a new one here. Actually, she got an A, so we should probably age her up too. But we'll need a cake. So we need Quinn to do that. In the meantime, we can try and get our... Uh, we could try to actually finish this aspiration. We're pretty close. We need to earn a high score in the typing game and achieve level 10 motor skill. I wonder if we could do that by the time our cake is made. And Heather can go sit on the potty. Oh, we have to wait for Quinn to finish tending the garden here. All right. So, we're still really uncomfortable. It doesn't give us the option. Oh, now we can play Keyboard Commander. It didn't give us the option before, but there we, now, we can now. Okay, so India has acquired the Imagination skill. She's dancing right now. Heather is almost done with the potty and then has to finish her Imagination. And then we're done. And that doesn't take very long. I've pointed it before how fast they gain the skill with the tent on a lot with the uh, uh, the micro home, where it has doubled the uh, um, skills gain. It is so ridiculously fast. So we got motor level nine. So she just needs to get to level ten and get the high score on the game. She does not give you a pop-up when you get the high score. You just have to kind of keep looking at your aspiration and see if it's gotten that or not. Okay, Quinn, 
It's getting stung by bees. Can we add to it now? Yes. So we need to cook. And we'll probably do... Oh, we did a hamburger cake. Alright, so, playing make-believe in the tent. You can have two sims at a time in the tent playing. Um, actually, I think you can have more. You can have two sleeping in there, but I've had... It's so weird. I, I have had two sleeping and, like, two children sleeping and then a toddler playing. So we've got imagination level two already. And how's Gia doing? Oh, she's asleep on the couch. Okay, so I guess we're not going to get the keyboard commander high score at this rate then. Ooh, we got a fancy sink. And I don't think sinks ever are come out of the, the uh, trash burned. They come out broken, and you have to fix them. But, uh, like, you can't fix a burned item. It's just worthless. Uh, I wonder if uh, Heather... I'm sure I can get Heather ready to age up at the same time as Gia. I'm not sure if I could get India to that point yet or not. India might just have to, to age up tomorrow. And She's eating something right now. So how is Gia doing? And Quinn. Well, Quinn's going to make a cake here in a minute. Okay. So let's make a cake. So I'm just selling some of the things that we got out of the dumpster, and then we got this new fancy, uh, new fancy sink. So I put that in, and then was able to add another windmill up on the roof. Because if we have electronic objects, I'd like to be able to use them instead of having them run out of energy all the time. And it looks like India. And even I think it's just going to chat with Heather. I don't think she actually has food with her. So, Heather, when she's done eating, I'm going to send her over to the tent here to make believe. And India. I'm going to send her to grab something to eat, I think. But then once she's eaten, then I can send her over to the tent probably too. So I'm just putting everything in the fridge that I can. Um, except for one jalapeno is going to go into the garden. I think. I keep having problems with the menu when I click on something instead of moving to its location. It like sticks to my hand basically and I can't do anything with it. Okay, we need to finish this cake. So Heather has reached imagination skill level 5, so that's great. She can age up now. I mean, the rules say level 3, but I'm doing full levels. Um, what should I pick on this one? Conflict resolution, manners, and emotional control. None of those have to do with uh, responsibility, which is what we're working on on this one. So...
All right. So manners is a little bit green. Responsibility is fully green. And... Oh, what... Oh, she's still cooking the cake. Ugh. All right, so let's cook the cake. And then Quinn really needs to look after herself. And how's India doing here? Okay, India, you can go and play make-believe for a little bit. Oh, our cake is done. Okay. So have Quinn go and put on birthday candles. And India... Just need to make sure you don't try to grab a piece. There we go. We've got candles. It will help age up. Uh, yeah, help blow out candles for Heather. Oh, our stereo is broken too. All right, blow the candles. Now we're going to go age up. Woohoo, Heather aged up. So she was fussy, and now she is good. I like that. Um, and what aspiration should we get for her? Rolling a dice. Creativity. Okay. So Heather has reached motor level skill. All the skills are at two. Okay. And Quinn, do we put candles on? We did, so that's great. All right. So let's uh, blow out the candles. All right. So we have Children of the Child of the Waves and Goofball. Okay. Child of the Ocean and Goofball. And what's our aspiration going to be? All right, let's see what we get here for aspiration. So I'm just rolling a dice using my Google and we get popularity. And what are we gonna get here? So as soon as we figure this out, um, a party animal. All right, I'm gonna end this here actually. So don't forget to click like and click subscribe and the little bell if you want notification of more videos. And I'm trying to put one of these up every day until I finish this challenge. So I will see you next time. All right, bye.